might not think about it, but there's a serious legacy of back-end technology that allows your phone, computer, smart speakers, and so much more to communicate with each other. One of those key pieces is your MAC address, a unique 12 character identifier given to any device that connects to Wi-Fi, making it possible to be identified when connected to either the internet or a local network. Of course, with data being as easily traceable and accessible as it is these days, you might want to change your Android phone's MAC address if you're worried your home network was vulnerable at some point in the past. The MAC address of your device can easily be searched if someone has gained access to your network, either at home or on a public hotspot you had connected to, so ensuring that your device's MAC address is secure is incredibly important. In order to change your phone's MAC address, you'll need to have root access. Rooting a phone is a fairly complicated process and differs depending on the phone you have. If you want to check your phone's root status, you can download the free Root Checker app from Google Play, then run the app and tap on the Verify Root button. This will display your device's root status and whether or not there is root access on your device. Once rooted, you'll need to turn to BusyBox, a root-only app that makes it super easy to control specific parts of your phone. Download the app from the Play Store and follow the in-app setup guide to get BusyBox up and running. To change your MAC address, you'll also need Terminal, so make sure that's installed on your phone as well. If you have any experience using terminal commands on a PC, you'll feel right at home. Open a terminal window, then type SU and hit enter. Grant the app root access. Next, enter BusyBox IP link show network, with network being replaced by the name of your network interface. Hit enter and you'll be able to view your current MAC address. Finally, it's time for the big command. Type busybox ifconfig network hw either, followed by your new MAC address in the standard format. Now, it's important that you keep the first three sequences in your MAC address the same, since it refers to your phone's hardware. The final three sequences, however, are up for you to change. If you need help, this MAC address generator allows you to import the first three codes as a prefix while generating the final three codes as a random MAC address for your phone. Finally, you can use the same IP link command from earlier to confirm your new MAC address. If you liked this guide, make sure you subscribe for all sorts of videos covering Android and other technology. And do not forget to check out one of these videos we think you might enjoy.